Hey, this is Davey Richards, the Lone Wolf, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with the Lone Wolf, Davey Richards. Hello. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? Good. You're here at Smash Wrestling in London, where you're going to face Braxton Sutter. I am. How are you feeling about everything? I'm going to whoop his ass. Yeah? That's you're already in that mindset? Yeah, I'm already, I already. Every time I come to Canada, it's like I'm invading, man. So, nah, yeah, he's a good guy. We work together at, uh, at Impact Wrestling. And, uh, you know, we've uh, managed to not wrestle each other for like 10 years somehow. And just lately we started wrestling each other. And it's been good. He's an awesome guy. I'm, I'm going to whoop his ass on the because that's what I do. But, uh, no, I love coming up here. I uh, love Canada. I actually started my career in Canada. A um, little bit of history on me. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have a good time tonight. Well, it's a very exciting year for you. And almost, I'd say, slightly bittersweet because you've announced that this is your final year of wrestling, 2017. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about that. Uh, you know. I go back and forth, you know, because wrestling's a lot different for me. You know, I wasn't I wasn't a huge fan growing up. I was like a legitimate amateur wrestler for a long time, but didn't really watch a lot of pro wrestling. And I just kind of fell into it and then fell in love with it while I was learning how to do it. And so it was kind of like my release. So, you know, I have a love-hate relationship. I love wrestling, but I hate it. And then I hate it because I love it so much, and I love it because I hate it so much. So, you know, like, we'll see what happens, man. Like, I, you know, I've won a few world titles, but it's a couple more to add to the list. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's, it's a maybe. It's a maybe. It's a maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Definitely maybe. Definitely maybe. I like that. All right. You were more into martial arts than wrestling growing up. So was there a certain event or wrestler where you thought, okay, maybe now I want to try this? When I was young, um, I first saw the Dynamite Kid. Uh, and that was as a young man he looked I mean, he made it look so real because a lot of it to me was just kind of like oh god really dude I just wasn't a fan of like like WWF back then you know I mean I wasn't a fan of it you know I liked real stuff I liked martial arts I liked you know real wrestling amateur wrestling and uh, he was the first guy that really made it like you know look real to me and then I started watching the UFCs when they came out and got into this like Japanese wrestling like Pancrase and stuff which was like promoted as professional wrestling but it was real fighting so I kind of fell into it like that and that's kind of like how my style evolved I feel I'm kind of known as a I'm known as a little kind of little bit little bit stiff you know what I mean but that's where my style is man like I don't like the hokey stuff I like to keep it real so like uh yeah I mean that Dynamite Kid was definitely the first and the biggest inspiration well a lot's happening on Impact right now as the Wolves are no more and a lot of people are saying you've taken quite a darker side with Angelina Love so what is the plan for you two is it to pretty much just dominate the roster I'm going to dominate the roster. <clears throat> I'm going to dominate her in the bedroom, because that's what I do. And I'm going to dominate everyone who steps in the ring with me. And that's what we do on TV. What we do on TV is how we do it in real life. You know what I mean? So that's just how we're going to roll. And it's, uh, no, it's something good. It's something fresh. Um, to be honest with you, I'm a big fan of 80s heavy metal. And it, to me, that was a lot. It was like sexuality mixed with violence. That's what like the bands I grew up listening to were really into and promoted. And that's just kind of what I promote. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, it's kind of a little mix of that and a little tribute to things I grew up in. That's just what I like to do so everyone kiss my ass they don't like it. Well, being a music website, I'm so happy that you brought up those those artists in that kind of genre. Who are some of the bands from 80s hair metal that you were digging? See, like, we, we can all sit here and, and say, like, I like the obvious bands. Like, I was a big fan of, like, the first couple Motley Crue albums and stuff like that. And uh, But, like, uh, one of my, maybe my favorite band is, they were pretty well known but not as big as Motley Crue, a band called Wasp. Uh, and they were awesome. Like Blackie Lawless was someone I'm really into. And if you ever, if you look closely at my entire career, everything is an 80s metal ripoff. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not going to say what things, but I will promise you this. If you take time to watch bands like Wasp, Motley Crue, The Scorpions, uh, you will really see, like my friend Tony's behind the camera right now, but he's, he, I guarantee he's smiling because he knows every single thing, every saying every um, outfit I've ever had, everything has all been an 80s metal ripoff. I'm not going to say which songs, that's the fun <laughs> part, but uh, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm very unoriginal. You know there's going to be somebody watching this, and they're going to go through all your stuff, just like, where can I pick up these 80s metal bands? That's right, that's what they should do, right? Yeah, that's what they should do, right? And on top of that, you can find some good music, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Motley Crue, um, uh, The Scorpions, Wasp, I mean, obviously I was in, you know, like like a lot of kids my age, I was really into like Maiden and Priest and, 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 old, and old Metallica. Um, uh, but you know, like as far as like like what we would call like the hair bands, I mean, yeah, I mean those were pretty much the ones. I mean, everyone had some good tunes, you know. I like to get a little cheesy every once in a while, you know. What I mean, like, listen, I'm just gonna say that if me and Tony are driving down the road, maybe in Canada, maybe, and some Cinderella comes on the radio, I ain't gonna turn it off because I'm because yes. I'm, I'm a gentleman, right? Right? Because chicks like that stuff, and that's part of the gig. So you know, you gotta have your songs. You hang out with the boys. You gotta have your songs with the chicks. 
even though I was listening to Cinderella with Tony, but we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> yeah, no more. right. The right. chicks. <laughs> <laughs> You're also apparently a big AFI fan. Huge. Have you seen them live yet? So many times. Yeah. yeah. Just saw them um, recently in Chicago on the Blood Tour, and uh, yeah, that that. Although I grew up on like '80s metal, and there's a huge spot in my heart for it, like. Um, AFI has always been my favorite band since junior high. Yeah, me too. Um, I interviewed them on the Blood Tour, and really? it was just one of those interviews where I was like, "This is pretty damn cool." Bro, yeah. God damn it! Now I'm jealous. Now I'm pissed <laughs> off. Like I don't hate women. No um, emotion. Uh, the uh, yeah, um, yeah. Just um, it, AFI is one of the bands. It's like if you get it, no explanation needed. If you don't get it, no explanation will do. They're just amazing. Uh, his lyrics really touch a spot. I mean, they've been there through a lot of dark times, as most people can relate to that. Uh, their music's just amazing. They never cease to blow my mind. They're always in a different direction. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's phenomenal. I came in, you understand, you get yeah. it, you know what I mean? Just an incredible band, um, just brilliant. Seeing that you've seen one of your favorite bands live multiple times, is there anyone you'd still love to see in concert that you've yet to? I've never seen Rise Against. I'd love to see Rise Against. Um, you know who I really wanted to see, but it was not going to happen now, is uh, Alexis on Fire. Okay. I would have loved to have seen them. But uh, I have seen uh, City in Color, which is, you know, the best I'm going to do because, you know, and uh, I've seen that. Actually, they're coming to St. Louis August 15th. I'm going to be there. I got you, Dallas. <laughs> Hook me up. I'll whoop your ass, too. Ain't no one above an ass. Whooping everyone's, right? ass. everyone's ass. Everyone's ass. <laughs> Everyone. when, this camera, when this camera turns off, what? Done, done. Uh, unless you hook me up with an interview with AFI, I can hang out with them. Anyways, uh, yeah, yeah, Alexis on Fire, that would have been awesome. I would, I used to love that band so much, and um, and uh, so th those, I mean, those, I want to see Rise Against, and um, actually, me and Tony are going to see Metallica for the first time cool. in June. I don't want to make you more envious, but I got to interview Metallica. You got to interview Metallica. What yeah. The what the fuck are you doing interviewing me? <laughs> I interview doing? my favorite musicians and my favorite wrestlers. Oh, okay. That's well, what we're I, doing dude, here. I am in good company right now because <laughs> I'm sitting here, sitting here thinking like, yeah, this is something I never even heard of, dude. And I'm like, AFI, I'm like, oh, okay, I hear Metallica. Okay, yeah, right. think twice, buddy. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to get my ass whipped. You never know. Right. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I should be interviewing you. That's sweet. <clears throat> So uh, yeah, Metallica. Um, we saw me and Tony. We saw Maiden on on the Somewhere Back in Time tour, which like is it. you know, um, well, Wasp is. Man, I was this close to getting the rights to use their music as my entrance music, um, but they pretty much only tour Europe right now. So um, those are the bands that come to mind. I don't care what anyone says. I would totally go see Billy Idol. That's right. Yeah. And ain't no one gonna say nothing. So I whoop your ass. Everyone watching at home. I would totally go there. Actually, I'm a big fan of New Wave, too. So Me, I too. Love New Wave music. You Tell look, me who you like. You're lucky I'm married. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm bullshitting. I am fucking around. Um, uh, huge fan of, like, um, New Order. It's big New Order. Like, Black Audio is awesome. Yeah. You know what I mean, that's what got me back into New Wave. Uh, I grew up, like, listening to that. My mom was really into, like, the cars and stuff. You know what I mean? I would have loved to have seen them. But me and Tony were just talking. They never did. They ever needed a reunion tour, did they, Tone? The cars. No. 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 Wow. Oh, they did. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, New Order and um, and uh, Joy Division, and um, so yeah. I mean, those kind of bands. I mean, so, I, I should have been born, man. I should have been born like ten years younger, with the exception of AFI. I, I, I love Lux on Fire. I love Rise Against. Yeah, I, yeah. Could, I could do with that, but like, I love, take AFI, make me born ten years earlier. I'd have been in heaven, man. <laughs> Let's wrap everything up. Is there anything you want to leave with all of your fans who will be viewing the interview? Just any parting words? <clears throat> if I wasn't married, I'd be dating her because she's awesome. All right. So that's one thing I'm going to leave. Second is, whoever your favorite wrestler is, I'm going to whoop his ass. And third off, no, third off, all seriously, this is a great thing. She's got a wonderful taste in music. I'm really happy to have uh, been on the interview. And uh, it's just good to see people promoting, like, good music that otherwise does not always get promoted. Because as, as great as AFI is, I went and saw them in a venue which held probably 1,000, 2,000 people, which is, like, they're they're – they're they're geniuses, man. Like I really, you know, um, you know, they've they've probably saved some lives, man. Oh, People, for sure. Right? And um, you know, so uh thanks for the opportunity having me on. I like to joke around, I like to have fun, you know. So but uh this has been awesome and I'm 
I've totally been showing up here. I thought I was coming here to man, and she's interviewed way bigger stars <laughs> than me. So I came in a man. I'm leaving a little boy. But thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See you next time.